Two win and zero loss record. One of three unbeaten teams are the uh, Turkish visitors. They are trying to keep pace with AS Monaco, who got the uh, game day three victory last night to move to three wins and zero losses. Uh, Pina Karsiaka will try and uh, keep pace with them. You can Mercia as well, the other unbeaten team in this group. For EVE Baskets Oldenburg, they currently sit with a 500 record, one win and one loss. The defeat coming to NSC Krasniak, the uh, Russian team, perhaps a slight upset in that particular occasion. As, uh, the baskets went down 86 to 89 here at home. So they are back in Oldenburg and they're still searching for their first win of the Basel Champions League season. And you see our three officials in charge of today's game. And they only sit to get underway. This should be an exciting matchup. We've got a couple of uh, highly high quality individuals on either team and they will match up together against each other quite nicely as well. We'll have a battle at the point guard position with uh, McConnell, McConnell, McConnell from uh, EVE Baskets going off against Dominic Walters from Pinar Karsiaka. And then on the inside, we see the Pinar Karsiaka starting five. Jared Jones, their key man, the number 21 there. Uh, he will be in the five with Wood, Walters, Guvan, and Ergalu. The five for Pinar Karsiaka. And twin point guard lineup with Walters and Ergaluk operating together. But that matchup of Jones and from Pinar Karsiako, a man who has been in fine form in the basketball Champions League, number two in scoring for coach uh, Alexander Chifanovic, the man in charge on the sideline. And he will face off against an EVE Baskets team that has their own dominant inside force as well. And that is their number 24, Rashid. Mahavazic, Mahavazic in the centre there, Byron Allen, Ricky Balding, Mickey McConnell and Philip Schwethelm make up the five for Oldenburg. So I mentioned the battle, Mickey McConnell will be going at the point guard spot, but let's not forget Byron Allen. A man basketball Champions League fans will know as we see the man in charge of EVE Baskets, Madden Drenic. Byron Allen comes over from Czechs Chesnimberg, the Czech team has now moved to Germany. He is having a very fine season indeed. Uh, Allen, he wears the number zero, second in the BBL in scoring 18.7 points per game. As, uh, he will be probably matching up against DJ Kennedy or even Scott Wood as well on that perimeter spot for Pinar. Karsiaka. So a couple of individual battles, really entertaining. And we talked about that Jones and uh, Mahabazic Max Chubb. Be interesting to see those two guys tied in fourth position for a shooting percentage on the inside. See if they do match up against each other. And make no doubt, this is what basketball Champions League action is all about. We pay here. The baskets with a win will move into fourth position and uh, tie the record of Pinar Karsiaka with two wins and one loss with a defeat here at home, their second defeat of the season. Oldenburg would drop down and uh, be battling it out from the outside, looking to be looking up at the four qualifiers. Remember, we have 32 teams to divide into four groups of eight. Top four will qualify forward into the playoff stages. So in the baskets, they shake hands with Mankrich, Trenic, and then we will be set to get underway. The yellow jerseys of EV baskets coming out, and then the stripes of Pinar Kasiaka. Battle of colors here, yellow versus green and red. Here we go. It is game day three of the Basketball Champions League. EVE Baskets Oldenburg facing off against Pinar Kasiaka. It's Group A action. 
We are off and underway. The ball is controlled by Kasiaka. And it is McConnell. McConnell at the point. And Walters goes to Oglu. Walters will get it back. And crosses over. Trying to find some room. Walters, tough looking shot. Have to throw it out to the perimeter. Good defense from Ibi Baskets. Ricky Paulding, the veteran, grabs in the rebound. It's a man who's having a fine season and already we have a substitution here. I think there's going to be blood. So Schwerthelm's going to go out. Dezeu comes in immediately. Yeah, I think you can see on the top right-hand side of your pictures there, Schwerthelm is receiving some treatment. Might have just taken a knock in the face. Bit of blood. Point now, McConnell has possession, hands it over to Allen. Allen to Dezeu, Dezeu to the inside. Well, this is the matchup we we're talking about. As uh, Mahobazi gets his first score of the game, he was not guarded by Jones. Instead, it was uh, Guvan that tried to stop him, and he could do nothing to slow down. And the pick number 24. Rashid. Mahabazic, what a great season he was having. 16 and a half points per game here in the Champions League. And the bonus from the line as well. So now Pinaka Siaka trying to find some room. The penetration, pull up jump shot, doesn't get the roll, Walters. And Alan looking around, seems to ask where was the foul. Puts himself on the line. Just getting a bit of clarification. Walters has been aggressive off offensively, looking for a shot. 31 year old guard. Actually leading the BCL in assists, 10 per game in the first two games of the regular season. So actually a provider. It's the pair to go. A bit of pressure up the floor. McConnell breaks it easily. Here he is, Mickey McConnell. Takes the hand off to Allen. That's for Paulding, running the baseline. Mickey Paulding to the inside once more. Mahal Bazic draws a double T, what a pass! Paulding throws it down. Crowd on their feet. Now, oh, those of you that watched the highlights saw a beautiful behind the back feed from Mahal Bazic a couple of weeks ago. Hammer that low post. And now we see the uh, little flip over the shoulder. It's an easy dunk. Good D, Paulding takes it away, throws ahead to Allen. Allen's going to put his foot out of bounds. Good defense from Berke Ergelou. Possession back to Kansiaka then. Of course, they have a little band of fans in attendance, as they always do. Walters with the ball to the win. And there's Ugly at the top. Trying to find some room. Oh, nice feed. Guvan surely will finish, and he does. That was all about the play of uh, Ergalu. The man who grew up with Fenerbahce now moved over to Kasiaka. Once more, it's Mahal Bazic. And again, he finds ball in. Balling all the way, but out on the finish. The veteran. Couldn't get that one to go. Walters comes off the screen, cuts in front of his man, breaks, little snake dribble there. Curves in front of the defender, won't let him back. In between him and the basket. Maho Bazic trying to find an opening. Goes into the hands of Allen, will re-screen and gets it on the inside. He is fouled. Gonna go against Wood. Very impressive start from both teams. Offensively, they are executing well. All moved beautifully, really. And Maho Bazic really has been at the centre of everything happening right so far for UV Baskets. Credit to that man. And then Greenwich. 
The man who uh, designs the plays to get him the touches. Second is good. And the baskets get the lead back once again. There are their fans. Guarding closely against Walters now, far side. Wood thought about the three, turns it down. Walters skips it to Wood. This is what he does. Wood knocks it down. Now, oh, the moment that came out of his hand, you could see he was confident. Scott Wood it's back down the floor. He's averaging 13 a game. In BCL action, in basketball Champions League action. Allen nearly turns it over. Flips it out to Dezeu. Pulling into Allen against the smaller Ergalu, who's going to commit the foul. Just four seconds on the clock. Okay, so it's all about the feed from Walters. And you know Wood is going to knock that three down. Asiaka, the lead on the road here. Dezeu, he's got great range as well, and he'll knock down his first triple. Nelson Dezeu, he does spread the floor from that four position. Now he's got to try and guard out on the perimeter. Jones, it's been very quiet, puts it on the floor. A little pass to Gouvan. And, uh, knocks down the little push. Scoring game here. No teams. Looking good offensively. Guban has four. Spalding has it. Finds Allen. Slice into the ring. His attempt bounces clear, but he is fouled, and that's going to be number two. On uh, man Guban, I believe. And we'll see some substitutions here from Karsiaka. The question is, how is it going to change their team? Have, uh, Only one other centre, really, for Kem Dogan to come in. He's played very sparingly indeed in the opening two games. So they have to go a little bit smaller, perhaps. Move Jones to the five position. Second is good. Allen knocks it down. That's point of the game for him. He ties it at 11. Waters comes off that quick screen again. He's got some room. His pass, though, taken away. Good defense from Allen. And the throw ahead, extra pass, wide open look in the corner. McConnell gets it to go. Great transition basketball from Oldenburg. The D from Allen. And then great unselfish play from McConnell in the corner. Guvan remains on the floor. And there goes two fouls and another turnover. He's pulling again. This time to Allen. He lays it up. The e baskets turning. Steals into points right now. He steals on the game. Guvan trying to find an opening. Poor pass from him. Hits the legs of Wood. Walters will be fouled by Dezeu. Just 3.5 on the clock. Dezeu commits the foul. Pulled him, read it well. Easy score for Byron Allen. Uh, there is the substitution we talked about. It is Guvan out. And uh, Dogan in. And the substitution comes in for maybe E baskets as well. Kesson comes in, the number 15. He's replaced Mahobazik. So substitutions on the inside, both teams. Allen. To Kesson, gets it back and loses it. Excuse me, that was Dezeu who turned it over. Wood, same spot. Can't 
Got this one to go though. He already made one from there. McConnell going the other way. Drag screen. McConnell into the foul line, finds Allen wide open. His response is good. And Byron Allen, who started off a little slowly, exploding to life now. He's got six. This is a man second in the German BBL in scoring. And there's an easy score the other way. Great pass. And Dujikan gets the finish. Angelou came off the screen. Defense just kind of opened up for him. Expecting him to pass. He got so deep. Easy finish. Easy pass on him. And they're going to have a timeout here. An entertaining first half, of first quarter. Only six minutes in already. 19 to 15. Coaches will be frustrated with the defensive output, I think. But right now, offensively, they are both playing very well indeed. Nakasiaka yet to miss a two point shot. The baskets yet to miss a three. And they are 66% from two point range. It's Kasiaka who called the timeout. The baskets four of four from me on the three point line. Both these two teams. Let's go next offense. Next offense, we play. We play five down. Oh, Yuga. baskets eight assists already as a team. That's how well they've shared the ball, Paulding. That's three of those eight. And for the timeout, the EV baskets. Possession 19 to 15. Pressure comes up the floor. Hadda is in for first action for EV Baskets, the number nine. Key player off the bench for them. It's Hadda. McConnell trying to find some room. Draws a lot of attention to Dezeu. Excuse me, that is Kirsten. I keep getting him and Dezeu confused. Interchangeable as Dezeu's hit one and that Kirsten has hit the uh, second three. E baskets now five of five as a team from beyond the three point line. There is Kirsten Tada, man mentioned. And that's the three from Kirsten. Substitution DJ Kennedy into the game. Kennedy. Even off the bench, averaging 17 points per game in the Basel Champions League. There's a scoring punch. Here he comes, smashed up against Allen. That'll be a great battle to watch. You'll find Ergolu wide open. Jump shot comes up short, though. Allen again looks to kick ahead. McConnell dances into the lane. Good ball movements from Oldenburg. Someone's got to step up, though. McConnell it will be. Can't hit it. Dezeu fights for the rebound, but Ergolu grabs it down. Now, now, get into the lane with the high arcing shot. Doesn't go. Count against Nojigan. Van comes in. Walters trying to find an open man. And Kennedy at the second attempt gets it to go. And the score, the first of the game for Jared Jones. The number two scorer in the Basel Champions League has been held quiet up until this point. Point for him, seven and a half minutes in. As that will bring back Rashid Albazic. Jared Jones doing everything. 
for his team up until this point. And again, both domestically in the TBL, the Turkish Basketball League, and in the Basketball Champions League. Next to that, reverses in around. Extra pass, McConnell pulls up, gets the defender dancing. He cannot finish. And here comes Kennedy. Kennedy looking around, or back it down. Oh, finds Jones cutting to the ring. Oh, they tried to pull the chair out from underneath DJ Kennedy. But he still had the awareness to find Jones. It's his second field goal to go. Massanat, the left deep, knocks down the three. Franz Massanat's in his first action this season in the Basketball Champions League. It's the lead. Gets on the score sheet. He is a key performer off the bench for EVU Baskets. We saw that last year. As now Jones has started to find the rhythm, puts it on the floor. The running shot doesn't go. He's going to be late back. Advantage for Oldenburg. And there it is. Down the middle, Mahovazic is fouled. As soon as Jones went to the ring and didn't score, you could see it was going to be five on four. As we watched the three from Mastamat, his first points of the season in the Basketball Champions League. Losing. Comes in for his first action. Up the line. Smooth stroke. Ramashin Mahabazic. Six points already for him on the game. It has been a high scoring first quarter. Second, also good for Mahabazic. Eight point lead for EVE Baskets, their largest of the game. No sink, pressures up the floor against Walters. How high Thuran has to come to collect the ball. Have to put it on the floor. Walters has it. Just five on the clock. Walters trying to find some room. One on the clock. They're not going to get it away. Great defense from Oldenburg. Great stand. First time we've seen Oldenburg. And hold firm against Kasiaka. Now Mahabazic has it. Low post. Look at the cutting action around him. The defense struggling to help, and he'll find low sink. And in turn, the open three, Tada knocks it down. Oh, that's the threat of Mahobazic on that low post. You double him. You can find the open man. Great action when he gets the ball. It's harder his first points. 30 in this first quarter. Walters pulls up. Doesn't get it to go. There's a foul on the rebound. Looks like it's going to go against Losink. Champions League season. He hadn't scored coming into this game. Put himself on the board with that field goal earlier. Thrown into early action with a couple of fouls against uh, Gouvern. And now it's the second. Cuts the lead to 10. Under 30 seconds left in this first quarter. Press coming from Kasiaka. Low sink. Beats it. And now Massanat. Gives it back to the little point guard at the top who organizes his play. Finds Massanat, who's going to come off the screen. Schwethelm picks and pops. Massanat will be fouled. And Walters doesn't like the call. Looks towards the official. See, still talking to him. as Jones is going to come back final 10 seconds see if he can get a touch one more possession 
Just Franz Massena at the line. Makes it down. What a first quarter for Coach uh, Drenic. Team look extremely well prepared for this one. And they've already been defeated here at home. They will not want to lose their second game. Qualifications so often dependent on how you hold your home floor. Pick up a couple of key wins on the road. It's often enough as Massanat moves to six. A 13 point lead. Largest lead of the game for Oldenburg. Final stages of the first quarter. Walters goes to Wood. Wood for three, knocks it down. That could be a huge shot for Karsiaka. As Massanat flings it up at the end of the first quarter, he doesn't get it. But that three from Scott Wood, his second of the game, has seen the lead cut back to 10. It's what have been a very high scoring first quarter here. EVE Baskets Oldenburg have the 33 to 23 lead over Pinar Kasiaka. Ah, oh, let's have a look at the statistics. And the percentages, as you expect, very high indeed. Seven of eight for EVE Baskets from beyond the three point line. Look at that. Incredible shooting from them. Surely Karsiaka will know that's going to have to change. There's no way Oldenburg can continue to shoot that well, surely, throughout this game. But right now, the way they've shared the ball, anything could happen. Look at some of the highlights. And often, the big man on the middle. Rashid Mahabazik has been involved in everything, not necessarily as a scorer. Although he is their lead with seven points, but as a provider as well. Him and McConnell doing a great job. McConnell, four assists in that uh, first quarter alone. Fourth, the man who's fourth in assists in the Basketball Champions League. And a good start. Going the other way, Walters and Wood, six apiece for Pinar Karsiaka. It's uh, Jamal Jones, who they're probably going to have to get going. Sorry, Jared Jones. In the second period, he has four points, two of four shooting. And I'm sure both coaches will be talking about the defensive end and what adjustments they can do, make to try and slow down the opposition right now. 33 points for Oldenburg, just far too many. Kasiaka, coach uh, Chufinovic will know that. As his team come back out onto the floor, there is Brad Losing. Ready to take the inbound. The Kasiaka fans. Walters remains on the floor. He's yet to go out. Can't Losing. Once more touch on the low post. Mahabazik spins. Draws two. Finds Masana. Can't get it to go. Fight for the rebound. Masana picks it up. Finds some room. Mahal Basic just kind of trundles in for the easy two. Easy finish from him in the end. He moves to nine points now. Lead back to 14. No, that's uh, not right. It's a 12 point lead. There we go. Correction on the scoreboard as the lob. Wayward. Mahal Basic kicks ahead. Low sink. Tamasanat for three. Doesn't go. He misses back to back. He said the percentages will surely correct themselves for Oldenburg. That's DJ Kennedy. Can't finish at the ring. Fight for the rebound. And it's Kennedy. Despite being on the floor as the man who picks it up finds Walters. And Walters moves to eight. Tenacity from Kasiaka there. It's not the quality they would be looking for. Missed a couple of shots, but... Helm responds immediately with the three. His first three after missing two. And, uh, Radar is back on form for Oldenburg. Jones hits the three. It's a shootout. And, uh, 
Northwest Germany then. As Jared Jones gets his first triple to go. Massana waits for it, uses the screen from Mahabazic. Low sink, turns, fires, misses everything. And look at the numbers in transition. And Arkasiaka, Kennedy, goes over to Turan, who throws it down easily. That's where the defense unable to foul now in transition. And not making a valid attempt at the ball. And Karsiaka, a good start to the second quarter, cut themselves back and forced Oldenburg into a timeout here. Kennedy on the assist. Tim Turan with the score. First points for him. And it's uh, under 10. Eight point game, 38 to 30. baskets have shot it so well 8 of 12 for 3 they're just going to be careful and just settle for that 3 point shot taking 12 threes in comparison to just 5 twos at this moment in time and well and good when you're uh, knocking them down sneaking an extra few seconds of a timeout here Kennedy and Jones looking on. <laughs> Keep holding, comes back in then. Remains at the point. Swings it to the corner. They're looking inside to Mahal Bazik. It's a tough offense to match up with Oldenburg because we've got four players around. Schwerthelm playing the four. An exceptional three point shooter. Every player. Threat around Maho Bazik, who we know can score if he's given the room. And Ryan Key, there he is, three of three from the field. I see Maho Bazik moves to 11. First man into double digits then. 10 point lead opened up again. Walters to Thran. He turns it over, just taken away by Sohelm. Burke had the opportunity to run, but couldn't make that first pass quickly enough. Massanat. over. has got the switch guarded by Jones. Tries to go to his favoured left hand. Doesn't get in an offensive foul, I believe. <laughs> oh, Buzzick acknowledges the foul. Uh, he has a smile while it's happening. There he is. How does he get that free under the ring? Down defensively for Karsiaka. It's happened too often. Allen's going to come back in. Matsunet goes out, as does Mahabazic. Dezeu will come in. Smaller lineup for Oldenburg. Kennedy falls to the floor. He's going to be picked up by Oldenburg. Instead, Jones the first man to it. His three, nothing but the bottom of the net. How talented is this man, Jared Jones? Second three of the game for him. Ten points, or seven points now, excuse me. First one was given as a two. In fact, no, I was right in the first place. His ten points. That was his second three of the game. Six overall. Whenever you've got that man on your team, always within touching distance. He's got them back within seven. Can they build on the score with a defensive stop? It hasn't happened very often as Pauling attacks and draws the foul. And there's DJ Kennedy. It's 
sideline possession. McCool will come back. This is how he reverses it. Allen just goes through the gears. Look at that change of speed. Too quick on the drive. Byron Allen just got it. And attacked so hard to the baseline. Defense couldn't do anything about it. Another easy score. Maybe e baskets not slowing down here. Jones draws the foul, gets himself to the line. Here's Ayu. Contra for the push. Fans in fine voice, but they're going to try and inspire their team to play a bit better on the defensive end. Right now, EB baskets like a juggernaut. Offensively, 42 points already here. Got still got six minutes left of the first half. They'll be well on their way to their largest score of the season. They have scored in the 80s in both games. They're already halfway there. Jones makes the pair. McConnell tries to get it back, so Helm comes off the screen, hands it over to Allen. Allen will use the pick from Dezeu, he rolls, but Allen falls down. Does get it into the hands of Dezeu, who's rejected by Jones. He gets it back, two on the clock, and Jones takes it away once again. Open floor for Walters. He is fouled. Help. Commits the foul knowing and his team isn't in the bonus, so we'll send the ball to the sideline. Kasiaka just kind of getting themselves back into this one now. They score here. See them get perhaps within five or even four with a three. Out and it's bonus from now on. Sideline possession this time for Karsiaka, but they could be on the line. Well, they will be at the line for any foul from now on. Jones screens and rolls. Walters tries to find him. It was kicked. Walters, eight points, three assists. Has it now against McConnell. Gives him the jab step, pulls the trigger on a three. Bounces clear as Allen, first man and only man to the rebound. Allen finds McConnell wide open. In and out though. After shooting is so well. Holdenberg missed a couple and here goes the score the other way. DJ Kennedy cuts it to a five point game now. Great transition play. Pinakasiaka on one stage they trailed by 13. Now within five. Allen reverses to Paulding. They'll try and isolate him against Turanu Thousand. Back onto the floor comes. Leading scorer for EV Baskets, Rashid Mahobazic. He has 11 points. He immediately sets the screen. McConnell just moves him slightly. Trying to isolate. You can see how the floor spread around the big man. Here he is, backing in against Jones. Spins away. Can't finish those. Jones snatches in that rebound. After scoring so freely in the first quarter. Just nine points here for Oldenburg. In the second quarter as Arsiaka within three on the pull-up. Dominic Walters into double figures as well now. Again, low post. Mahobazic gets deep, turns and finishes. Now Jones is just kind of trying to hold his ground there. Mahobazic, if he gets that deep, He's going to be able to finish. Four or five from the floor. 
Jones picks and pops. Wood sets the feet, lets it go. Wood knocks down another one. Third three of the game. Oh, Scott Wood. Yes, great movement from Wood. Allen just lost him for a second. And that glimmer of space is all Wood needs to knock it down. Two-point game here. Oh, I didn't think this would happen. 33-point first quarter, the 13-point lead for Holdenberg. He pulled back as the shot doesn't go for Paulding. And here come Turan and Karsiaka, four against three. Kennedy was wide open. Waters fouled and gets the finish as well. Maho Bazic was trying to foul him the whole way through the drive. Waters had the strength to hold him off, though, and still finish. And we could have a Karsiaka lead here on the foul shot. Paul Link just speaking to the official, asking about the play on the opposite end. Dominic Waters, 12 points. Four assists as well. And they can't add the bonus, so we're tied now, 44. McConnell. Goes to Allen, Allen will come off the quick screen. Tough shot from Allen, he lofted it on the way up, but it doesn't matter. Oh, thought his opportunity had gone, he stepped back, he lost the ball. Seemed a bit forced, but when you can shoot like Barr and Allen, it doesn't matter. He is a perfect three of three from the field, eight points. Walter's pass is lost, Sweathelm picks it up. Numbers for Oldenburg here. That is deflected as they look for Mahal Bazic. Walters stumbles and turns it over. Allen goes all the way to the ring, is fouled, and his shot bounces clear. You see Callahan speaking to the official, asking where was the foul. Unlucky, really, for Karsiaka. Walters tried to continue. Looked like he was fouled, and then he stumbled. Gave possession back to Oldenburg. Tada comes back. We will have a timeout here. Crowd getting into it. The dancers trying to inspire them. The team are on stage 13 points in the lead. Not pegged back now by a Karsiaka team which has dominated this second quarter, 21 to 13. And definitely got themselves right back into this one. And an entertaining game throughout. Walters has led the charge, 12 points and four assists for Karsiaka. Let's not forget the three-point shooting of Wood. And it's uh, three of four and just the all-round play. Jared Jones, 12 points from him, two rebounds. Zero fouls as well, if they do want to use him against um, Mahal Bazic later on in the game. Percentages from both teams, incredible. Not been many missed shots here. 57% from the field for EBE Basket, 64%. From the field from Pinar Karsiaka. Team shooting more than 60% from three point range. the line as we come back it is Byron Allen one of two on his first trip it's the first here hasn't missed from the field 11 points now and 
very strong first half from Allen. You know, he is a scorer. Did exactly that for Justin Inberg last year in the Basketball Champions League. Waters. So they can draw up coming out of the timeout. Jones is going to roll. Waters pulls up, hangs in the air. And he will be called for the push in the back on the offensive rebound. Walters just a little indecisive on the pull up there. I think he was trying to pass. Defense did a good job of making him a shooter. Ugalu's going to come in. McConnell goes to the opposite end to shoot the free throw, no possession. As the ball bounced off the ring, so that's shots because of the team fouls. Just as good. McConnell. Sit down. Five points personal for him. Lead back to six. Just as he was giving credit to Kasiaka then. The way they got back into the game, the lead opened up once more from EVE Baskets. Is this a 2 3 zone? No, back to man. Nice screen from Jones. He picks and pops. Jones on the floor. Shot clock goes off. Oldenburg will continue to play. Allen finds Pauling who glides in for two. Well, back in his college days, he was known as a high flyer. We don't see it as often anymore from Ricky Pauling, but he can still get up with the best of them. Look at this takeoff from the veteran. Glides past his man, finishes with the left hand. Nothing Turan could do about that. And the lead. Back to eight in favour of Oldenburg. Let's not forget, it was 44 apiece just a second ago. It was at the 316 mark. So in less than two minutes, Oldenburg have just reeled off an 8 0 run to get themselves this lead once again. And it's all been about Byron Allen. He got the two point jump shot to go. And he was the one with the steal as well. And two free throws. Doing it all right now. And then we see another push before the half. We've got one minute 39 left. Olibi Kasiaka to cut the lead once again. Olibi Oldenburg to just continue. And the offensive juggernaut we've seen so far. 52 points for them. Possession will be for the Turkish team. Pressure comes from Oldenburg. Broken Kasiaka at the ball with Erglu. Open man on the baseline. There he is. He can't leave Jones free. He has to kick it out. Shot clock to three. Does he know? Jones turns, fires, tough shot, misses everything. Oldenburg got numbers, two on one. Allen fakes behind the back and is fouled. Wood will pick it up. Scott Wood was left on his own. Allen coming full speed at him. Didn't go for the fake. He put Allen on the line. Trouble is Allen such a good foul shooter. It's already seen. Three of four. Dominic Waters comes back in. Allen is putting together in a very nice game. And this is the first. 12 points, two rebounds, one assist, two steals. down the second though. Lead to nine. I think I need a score here. They've been on 44. We're over two minutes now. Ergolu is 
Matchup zone here. Wood can't find the room, goes to Walters. Walters, five on the clock, travel. The offense just so stagnant. Well, not stagnant, it just doesn't seem to have the penetration that they had in the earlier phases. And into low shot clock, plus three or four offensive possessions. As we see the travel against Walters. Substitution for Karsiaka. Defensive substitution, Carahan will come in. McConnell against Dergalu. McConnell off the screen. And Mahabazic rolls into the low post. Allen goes straight over the top of Cadahan, gets the offensive rebound and puts it home. 15 first half points for Byron Allen. Great recognition from him. He knew the sub had come in. He had the physical advantage over his man. Went straight at him for the score. Ergaloo now. Double digit deficit. And that's Kennedy. Kennedy pulls up on the foul line. Knocks it down. Shot clock was low again. Final 10 seconds, first half. One final opportunity. Allen will control it here. Try and clear out. Allen between the legs a couple of times. Steps back. His pass to Balding is loose. Perhaps should have shot it himself. But it is a fantastic first half offensively for EVE Baskets Oldenburg. They've scored 55 points here. And they have the nine point lead over Pinar Karsiaka. It is 55 to 46 at the break. Oh, Oldenburg, well, how much better could they have played in that first half? They've shot 58% from the field. That's 56% from two point range. 61% from three. They're 13 of 15 from the foul line. 16 assists. And uh, you can see those numbers there. Just fantastic production offensively for the German team. Any other day, Karsiaka with those percentages and 46 points in the first half would be looking very... Uh, would probably be looking at a, a substantial lead on the scoreboard. But it's not to be. Nine turnovers for Karsiaka. Perhaps the biggest worry, just four for EV baskets. But somehow one of these teams has got to try and slow down the opposition, try and get a uh, run of stops, a run of defensive possessions, because both teams finding it far too easy to score. Allen leads the way for EV baskets. 15 points, three rebounds for him. Walters leads the way for Pinar Karsiaka, but it's been performances all over the floor, really. So, there are the scorers. Double, two double figure men on each team. Alan and Mahobazic for EVE. And then Walters, who already I mentioned, and Jones, who has 12 for Pinar Karsiaka. Well, we'll see who can make the adjustments at the halftime interval. Will either coach be able to make some changes to slow down the opposition? Right now, the offense leading the way. As we have a high-scoring first half, EVE baskets the nine-point lead here at home. We're going to take a break for about 10 minutes. Make sure you join us for second half action as we will be back from Oldenburg shortly.
Welcome back to Oldenburg then. Half time here. A very highly entertaining game in Group A. Gunnar Karsiaka, one of three unbeaten teams in this group, remember. Currently chasing alongside Yukan Murthia Monaco, who won last night in their third game of this group. So they're one game back, chance to tie them if they can record victory here tonight. But currently on the road, they've given up 55 points in the first 20 minutes to an EVE Baskets team that has looked in an unstoppable form offensively. It is 55 to 46 here at the half. And I can't wait to see what these two coaches, what adjustments they may have made in that first, in that interval to change the way the game has been going so far. EVE have done a bit of everything offensively. They made eight threes in that first half, eight of 13 from the field, 13 for 15 from the line as well. Just so effective offensively. They were led by that man there, really. Mahabazic, he has 13 points and uh, credited for just one assist. And his distribution from the low post, absolutely first class. He's been topped by Byron Allen, his uh, shooting guard teammate, who has 15 points on five of six shooting. As those two lead the way for their team. And on the other side, Pinar Karsiaka have two double-figure scorers of their own. Point guard Dominic Walters, four of seven from the field, 12 points, four assists. He does have five turnovers, though, Walters. And then so Jamal Jones, Jared Jones, excuse me, keep calling him Jamal. Apologies, Jared, there he is. And himself, four of seven shooting for 12 points, two rebounds in there as well. I, mean, I think uh, Jones has got to get a few more touches for his team. Kasiaka want to try and peg themselves back. A little nod towards Scott Wood as well. Three of four from three. Nine points in that first half for Kasiaka. But it's the defensive end where both teams will be wanting to make improvements. Five for Oldenburg. And he's had to come back out here then. Schmidt-Helm in a quiet first half. He's out there. And it's just three points. Oldenburg in the yellow uniforms. Now Kasiaka in the red and green. That's the first possession will go to the Turkish team here in the second half. They try and pull back this nine-point lead. The lead at one stage 13 before it was tied at 44. And then that 11-2 run to finish the first half by the EVE Baskets team. So we them have this lead now. Right. Possession into the hands of Walters. He'll pull up on the foul line wide open. And he knocks it down. Walters out there with Turan, Wood, Kennedy and Jones. The five on the floor for Kasiaka. Here is McConnell. And he is out there with Allen. He has the ball now. Ricky Baldick. Ahid. Mahobazic, who is rolling to the ring, nearly getting the pass. And then also Schwethelm, who we talked about before. Sweethelm. So they have five. There is head coach Alexander Chifanovic. And have his team playing defense in front of him. Makes communication much easier. See if that can help at all. McConnell draws the switch. They try to go to the inside. Mahobazic. No double team coming. He finds McConnell. He fires it up. It goes, but it's going to be waved away after the uh, buzzer. Shot clock violation against EVE Baskets. First time we've seen that in this game. Much better defensive sequence for Karsiaka then. Is that a one-off or they can they continue to build it on that? Jones. Those two mortars. Jones now slips to the ring. Fades on his jump shot, comes up short, fight for the rebound. Mahabazic picks it up. He'll reverse it now to Allen. Wide open. McConnell, who is guarding him? Mickey McConnell just left so wide open. So knock down the three. That's his second three of the game, McConnell. Got eight points personal now. 
where the breakdown came from as DJ Kennedy comes off the screen. It's reversed to Waters, who's got his feet set, responds for a three of his own. And the two guys who came in, averaging high number of assists, the point guards, both been scoring threats here. O'Connell and Waters. The man who's always a threat, Aaron Allen. For the three immediately gets himself to the line. Allen leads the way for his team. 15 points personal in that first half. Five of six he was from the field. First is good. First point for him in the second half. Two of two. Bit of pressure up the floor from Oldenburg. As Walters takes it from Wood. And now calls the play. 14 on the clock, though. They have to go quickly here. And now to seven. Walters. Nothing on. Under five. Good D from McConnell. And an offensive foul is going to be called. And against Walters. He's not happy. A defensive play, a defensive sequence, absolutely on point for Oldenburg. Yeah, pressed up the floor, took time off the clock. And when Walters had to try and create something on his own with the clock winding down, that's when he got the offensive foul. Mahobazi gets it again in the low post. Waiting for the double team to come. Not sure where the pass was going. A rare wrong option from Mahobazic. It's been so good up until that point. Jones on the pick and pop. Reverses it. Kennedy hits the high post and now Jones has the ball. A lot of space, but the defense just pulls the chair and Jones is going to get a technical foul. I'm not sure why he was complaining. The contact just pulled away from him. And when he's questioning the official, technical foul given. So it'll be two shots and possession for Oldenburg. Jones goes out. Guban comes back in. First time we've seen the number nine since very early in the game. First five minutes, picked up those two fouls. And didn't come back again. Guman did have four points in that five minutes. McConnell knocks down the foul shot. And now possession for Oldenburg. And we've got ten now. Slide down this offense. Sweat home for three is good. Matches the largest lead of the game. Philip Sweathelm, the pick and pop. So dangerous. Kennedy, good pass to the inside. And the reverse finish from Walters. Connor off the high screen. Sweathelm's just made one. Can't make it back to back though as Kennedy snatches in the rebound. Looks to run here. Foul from Pauld in, unsportsmanlike foul. Yeah. It's just too much from Paulding as Kennedy was running. Couldn't have a chance. Yeah. I think there's much intent, you know, much nastiness in it from Paulding. and sportsman like foul. Kennedy will be up the line. Let's get the floor wiped up. Kennedy's been quiet in this one, just four points for him. I 
There's a man that knows this arena. He played in the 2014-15 season in Germany. He was actually voted as the best offensive player in the league, in the BBL in that season. He was the leading scorer in Germany. And that's the pedigree of this man. He's played twice for Ludwigsburg. And two separate spells. Not been a happy return for him so far. Six points now, four assists, three rebounds. Huvan, wide open at the top. His pass is loose. Picked up by Paulding. Pauling ahead of the pack, lays it in for two. Uh, Ricky Paulding just luck on his side on that particular play. Chasing his man down. The ball just dropped right to him. He runs it home for the easy two. Kennedy kicks it out. Turan puts it on the floor now and draws contact getting into the basket. Allen bounces up quickly. Look at this. The defense from Paulding. The ball just drops to him. Ergolu comes back in. First is good. Turan. Nice trip to the line for him. Three points personal on the game. Can he make it a single digit game? Is it around? Straight home. Look at this spread. This great spacing from EVE Baskets, but the offensive foul. Kennedy matching up against Mahabazic. Magalu brings it in from the baseline then after the offensive foul. The lead still in double digits. Tada guards him closely up the floor. A little space to penetrate there instead, skips it to Kennedy. Kennedy, the lefty, draws the attention. Taran for three. Doesn't go. Look at Alan skying high. Fifth rebound for him. He's the game leader for Oldenburg. Mahovazic. Everybody clears out for him. Finds Pauling. Look at the ball movement. Wide open three. Tada. Way short, but he gets the rebound. As far as Kennedy now, he's got some room to attack. Kennedy doesn't get the roll. Good follow from Turan. Within eight, Kasiaka is going to force a timeout to be called by EVE Baskets. Then, game finally balanced here. You've got to say, despite their strong play, Oldenburg they haven't really taken firm grip on the game. You wouldn't say it belongs to them yet. And Karsiaka are right there. And if they can make one run as they did in that second quarter, you can see them getting right back into it. Okay. Okay. Another game leaders. The baskets for said Allen. That's the way. Five rebounds. He's got 17 points as well. Garciaca, Walters, 19 points and four assists. And then Turan off the bench, five points, five rebounds, solid play from him. Here he is with one of those rebounds, just tipping it home. No one boxing it out. I'm going to say Mahobazic could have done a better job trying to stop this man. In there to tip it home. Sink is in at the point for Oldenburg. Then here he is with the ball. Massenat 
As it's all changed in the backcourt. Rosing all the way. Easy score. What happened to the defence? It just opened up. No one rotates. Losing walked it in for two. Galoo to Kennedy. Galoo screens as Kennedy has it turned over. Great recognition from Tada off the ball. Zeyu squaring up. Guarded by Kennedy. Kennedy got a hand on it. And hooks the ball away. And draws the contact. Foul. Fourth foul against EV Baskets. So he's sideline possession. That's it. That's knew what he was doing. Makes it go out. Sideline possession as Walters back into the game. Turns the corner. His pass to Tadan is tipped. At 11. Walters will inbound. Wood is denied coming to this near wing. He's been quiet, Wood, in the second half. Tadan turns. He's got a finish on the smaller. Tada and does. Tadan doing his part here in the third quarter for his team. Gets them within eight once again. Shot zone. Losing too much room. Knocks it down again. I mean, Losing, it's the second time. Same play. He's wide open. First time he got to the ring. Second time. Defense tried to stay at the basket, so he stops and knocks down the jump shot. It's all four of his points. Ergaluk gets into the lane, Walters for three. Doesn't go, no one challenging the glass for Karsiaka. Oh, Masanat, excuse me, grabbed it in. He only turned it over, falling on. No rebound. No sink now. Gets the defense to switch. His cross court pass to Tadder a little high. No sink. Another clean look. Doesn't get it to go. Karsiaka have numbers in transition. Ergaloo will pull it out. Kennedy wants the ball. He got, got it now against Low Sink. The clock down to seven. Walters to Ergaloo. Ergaloo's three in and out. And now Tada comes the other way. He's got the quick screen from Dezeu. And he will feed him in the low post. Offensive foul against Dezeu then, Maxim Dezeu. Didn't really like the call, which player ever does. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's a great work from the official right in front of him. The left elbow hooked around the shoulder, didn't it? Turnover battle there. Goes all the way and lays it up. Ergaloo all the way to the ring for an easy two. Still the lead at eight though. Tada fouled by Turin. Had up. Bringing him from the side. Matanak. Ten on the clock now for him. We we'll use the high screen. Tada puts it on the floor again. Oh, flips a great pass to the inside and a foul. Ketin is going to go to the line. Picks up the foul, just too quick, wasn't it? The play, great penetration and pass from Tada. At the line, Kesson, three points for him on the evening. That one to fall. 
He's above his average then, which is three points per game. Two for two. Here comes Sir Helm. This lead just always around this eight to ten point mark. Maybe he can't stretch it out. I can't see Arca. I can't get it any closer either. Jones is back in. And foul on the far side. Kesson. Not caught out of position. DJ Kennedy to advantage. We'll go to the line for two. Team fouls. Garcia Aka fans. Smiles around for them. Callahan comes in. Candy. Six points, four assists, three rebounds for him. Number one goes. Hasn't been a uh, fluid performance though from Kennedy. Hasn't been able to really get going. Had to work too hard for his points. Credit to the EV Baskets defense for that. And giving him the easy opportunities. And Lernan from the line. Does make both free throws to get it to an eight-point game. That's the that. Off the screen. Defense switches. Kennedy stays in front of his man. No sink pulls up over Erglu. Doesn't go. Who's going to get the rebound? Oh, it's Massanat to bring it in. Now low sink. We'll pull it out and wait for the high screen. Foul. Ray waved away. Out of hand. Commits the foul. Good play from low sink. Put the pressure on the defense. Put the pressure on the referees. With the shot clock winding down. Four points, we saw them all coming in this third period. And back to that plays, the drive and then the stop. And pop jump shot from about the foul line. That's the free throw as well. And actually scoreless in his opening two games in the Basketball Champions League. So it's been a bit more of a threat. And again, as we said, that lead back to 10. Find some room in the lane, gets the roll. Mm -hmm. and Nelson taking his time to bring it the other way. Nice and off the high screen, bounce pass to the inside. Kesson can't finish the easy opportunity. Jones grabs the rebound. Jones scoreless in the third quarter. Just hasn't been involved at all as Kennedy. Draws the foul and gets the score. And we know they can spurt. We know Karsiaka have the offensive ability to get themselves back into this game. There's the chance for the bonus. Could make it a five-point game here. Under 24 seconds left in the third period. Essen will go out. Mahabazic comes back in. Away. Makes that one to move to 11 now. Pressure up the floor. Massanet has it. Goes cross court. No sink now. Back into the hands of Massanet. They'll hold for the final shot here, surely. Hobazic rolling. Defense trying to switch back. Massanet into the lane. Can't finish. Low sink. The jump shot is good. Well, what a big basket that may be. They've got it back to five, Karsiaka. But Brad Losink has come up big in the third quarter. All eight of his points coming in that period 
to see his lead ha team have the 76 to 69 advantage after three quarters. And the statistics, they haven't changed since the start of the game. Kasiaka just cannot slow down this offense of EVE baskets. They just need to get consistent stops, a run of defensive possessions really where they can slow down the play of the German team. It has not happened through the first three quarters. Every time the game's got slightly close, EVE baskets have stepped up and made a shot offensively. Often though, have we seen one run, one great quarter to bring the team back. Very much within touching distance. Seven points, nothing in this game. Every team has gone over 20 points in each quarter. Uh, Oldenburg have gone down in every period as well. 33 in the first, 22 in the second, 21 in the third. The pillar of consistency, Karsiak on the other side, scored 23 in each of the first three periods so incredibly it is only the first quarter that they actually lost and they've won the second and third periods and they will come out onto the floor Ergalu, Turan, Wood, Kennedy and Jones I think they've got to try and use Jones offensively if they can and on the other side for Oldenburg it's Tada, Masanat, Losing, Schoethelm and Mahobazic Fourth and final quarter underway then. Seven point lead for the German team. EVE baskets here at home. Byron Allen spent a lot of time on the bench in the third quarter. Sweat Helm knocks down the three. And moves him to nine. Well designed play. Exactly what they needed at the start of the fourth quarter there. Gets the lead back to double digits. When we said, you know, Kasiak, I need to put a run of stops together. Jones, great pass, easy score. Turan. It's the matchup. Jones can attack against Maho Bazic, who doesn't quite have the foot speed to keep him in front. Switching zone. And Kasiaka. Match up for them. Hasn't really worked though. Maho Bazic turns, kicks it. Look at the ball movement. Masanat gets into the lane and finishes it off. I mean, it doesn't matter whether you're a man, zone, matching up. If you're going to let Masanat break you down off the dribble and get to the basket on a wing penetration, he will put points on the board. Great play from the lefty. He's got eight points. There's an offensive foul. It's good. That's how that takes the applause of his coach. Look at this, Massinat behind the back. Straight past Toran. And gets the score at the basket. Massinat again. Once more, he's to the, the ring on the penetration. Doesn't go. Kennedy trying to push. Finds Toran. And he throws the foul. in Turan and go to the line just get himself into double figures he's been active he's done everything he can I've been impressed with him playing off the bench 69207 power forward and his team a lift and Allen has stepped back onto the floor after an extended break Double digits for Turan. Second doesn't go. No one competing for the rebound though. For Karsiaka. Low sink. He's got it closely by Nogalu. Reverses it to Sweathelm. He doesn't really have an option. But he 
against it now to Allen. Allen. Hangs. Oh, what a change of hands. In the air for Byron Allen. He jumped. Looked like the defense were going to be able to really affect the shot. But he just clutched and changed. And hung in the air to get the score. Ergalu now, foul by Losink. Watch this from Allen. He takes off and then just at the last minute just moves the ball to the side to avoid the block from Kennedy. McConnell comes back in then. And there's Ergerly pulling up on the elbow. Doesn't get it to fall. Slowly brings it over. He's in no hurry. As now he just goes through the gears, straight to the ring. And he leaves Rahul Bazic wide open to tip home the offensive rebound. Well, the defense so slow. It has to go with Allen. And it meant no one gets in front as Turan has helped on the drive. Rahul Bazic just left wide open to tip it home. Timeout called by Karsiako. He said they needed to make a... A push, but a 9-3 run to open this fourth quarter for Olderberg. Quarter by quarter breakdown. He said 9 3 run. Oh. Oldenburg, what a time to have that burst as well. Really just uh, open up the game here. Way back for Karsiaka here then. They have possession. Oldenburg switch into a 2-3 zone just to change the look. Some questions. Got to know where Wood is. Comes on the near side. Oldenburg match up now man to man. Jones fades on the jump shot. Doesn't go scoreless in the second half. Jones, he had 12 at the interval. He's still there, as the foul is called. How about it? Fourth foul, is it? Yeah. Number four against the big guy, sends Kennedy to the line. He remains perfect. DJ Kennedy from the stripe. Six of six now. The well, half his points from the line. Seven. Yes, he's ready to pick up up the floor. Marciaka trailing by 11. McConnell. It over. Hands to Allen. Allen again just puts that shoulder down, attacks the ring hard. This time he can't finish, and Kennedy's going to come the other way. Five on four. Can they find the open man? It's Turan. He's immediately double teaming and he turns it over. Well, poor transition basketball from Karsiaka. They had a five on four advantage, didn't space the floor particularly well. But look at that defense of. EVE baskets, even with just four players. They recognize the threat, immediately double teamed when he went to the inside and were rewarded with the steal. Isaiah comes to screen. McConnell drives, 
and finishes. Oh, great stop and go from Mickey McConnell. It has been a great team performance for EVE Baskets as a whistle and a foul underneath. See Helm. Look at this. The stop and go from O'Connell. And not only that, the way he takes that dribble towards the defender there, you see cuts off the recovery of Turan. Means he can't get back in position to block the shot. Great guard play from McConnell. Yaka just managed to get in bounds. Walters has also been quiet in the second half. Takes the jump shot short. Jones grabs it in. Tipped away from by Tata though. And look at Tata taking off down this near side. He takes the defense with him and Swethelm fouled. Sure, where the complaint is of Turan. Clear foul. So Helm will be at the line. And he will knock it down. First point outside of the three point line for. Number 33. See how six seven forward. And still, there's no let up from Madden. Tranich. Kennedy off the high screen. News pass. Number turnover. Allen behind the back, but he loses it. Eventually, somehow, he picks it up again in the corner. Now they'll isolate, let him go one-on-one -on -one against Turan. Turan tries to commit a foul, doesn't. Allen dances in for two more. 90 points up for Oldenburg. Allen wants the foul. It will be a timeout. Turan, look, trying to commit the foul here. Referee lets it go. Allen with the score and a timeout will be called by coach Alexander Trifonovic. Remember, points differential can be important in all of these games. And I think that's something he is going to be stressing for his team, hence the timeout here. With 4.54 to play. It's a 17 point lead. We see the foul trouble for Kasiaka. Oldenburg will want to get this above 20. If they can do that, it will mean going back to uh, Kasiaka, back to Turkey for the return game in Group A. They will know they have to lose by less than that margin in order to take the head-to-head. -head. Talking going on in that Kasiaka timeout. Kasiaka struggling at the start of the uh, Turkish league. One win out of their first three games. Coming off a, uh, a big defeat, 75 to 91 against Galatasaray. So they gave up 90 points on the weekend. They've already given up 90 here. MVP, on the other hand. Four wins and two losses. And defeated Raja Farm Oum on the weekend, 94 to 83. So the signs were there. Oldenburg's having scored 90 this past weekend. Allen stepping back. Won't get it to go. Jones grabs in the rebound. Kennedy fiends Jones Jones turns goes up and comes down with it and for he says it was knocked away so the play continues and Jones with his first points 
of the second half. It took 16 minutes. Walters nearly has the steal, but just tips out of bounds. Oldenburg continues to rotate. Pauling's going to come back in. And he, he is wide open. And no hurry, so he gives it back to McConnell. And we'll use the high screen. McConnell draws the attention. Now gets himself into the lane, finds Pauling. His finish doesn't go, but Dezeu finishes it off. Dezeu moves to uh, five points. Jones pulls up, takes the jump shot, and he finishes at the plate. They're opening in the second half for Jones as he's got four in a row now. Jump out on the screen. But McConnell does a good job. Throwing it to Pauling, and now we get it back. And isolate let McConnell go against the bigger Jones. McConnell takes the three. Doesn't get it to go. Ogilou. Goes all the way on his own defense. Nowhere to be found. Just opened up for Ergalu. And Coach Zernich. Jencic. We'll call the timeout. Unhappy with that last couple of defensive sequences for his team. He will not want this to get back to a manageable margin. We said points differential is important in the Basketball Champions League. And he will know that. Duranich frustrated with his team and they will know having come out of Group C last year if he baskets Oldenburg Pauk the fourth place qualifier got through on the basis of the head-to-head -head victory over Ventspils so they saw first hand that head-to-head -head record so important the team so closely guarded so closely matched. Back to 13. Connell brings it down. Off the screen. Oh, great ball movement here. Wide open look. Sweet helm. In and out though. Still time left, Kasiaka. Can they do the improbable? Kennedy to Ergolu. Ergolu wants to take his time. Not sure if he has the opportunity. Jones, it's the open man. Kennedy along the baseline, but it doesn't go. Good work on the glass from Callahan. Kennedy gets hands on it, and it falls kindly for Mahobazic. And then a foul will go against Wood. I think Ergolu needs to step up and take the shot. So of two for three. Six points on the game, but he passed up the opportunity. His team never got a better one. And now Maho Bazik will just wait. Back it down against Jones. Jones trying to hold his ground. McConnell, he doesn't have to rush with a sizable lead. Now he attacks, kicks it out. Allen will take it in and out. And look at that, first man to it. Here's a EVE Baskets player. Allen, 21 points on the game, holds. Attacks against Ergaloop. Mahal Bazic has to fire it up. Doesn't go, Kasiaka. Need to go quickly here. 
Trailing by 13. The time clock is their enemy now. Jones is just going to fire over Allen. That's the right shot. He gets it to go. Cuts it to 11. And see, I've got a little bit of pressure up the floor, but... to be broken by EVE. Mahal Bazik, he'll put it on the floor. Loose pass. 108 left in the game. Nurgulu. Will they try and go for the win? Asiaka as an offensive foul is going to be called against Jones. Never established position, Jones, to set the screen. He wanted to pop and get the shot. Defence for McConnell, really, because he was in movement. Didn't allow himself to be screened off. Be pumping out here in Oldenburg. Town team sensing victory is near inside the final minute. The question is, how big a victory will it be? We'll lead it 11 at the moment. Toshkan will come in. Connell waiting. Finds uh, Mahobazic and now Allen. Goes high with two at home. Got the switch. Ergalu trying to guard against Mahobazic. Once more, he's a provider. Pauling can't finish it. And then a foul will be called against Wood. And grabbing that rebound, Wood instantly walks to the bench. And that is his fifth and final foul. Wood is another of these Kasiaka players who had a great first half. He had nine points, three of four from me on the three-point line. He was at the interval, but just one shot in the second half, which he failed to convert. He goes to the bench, nine points, two rebounds. He is replaced by leading scorer Dominic Walters. And Ricky Balling at the line. Just comes up short. Second is good. <laughs> Still some nervous fans here. Despite this 12 point lead, 30 seconds left. Kennedy. Moves to Ergalu. One final score, perhaps, for Karsiaka. Callahan will take it. His three doesn't go. Allen snatches in the rebound. Allen will keep going. Find Sweathill. He'll lay it up for two more. Why not? Ergaloo to the far side. Kennedy trying to find some space. Three on the clock. Ergaloo will take it. It doesn't go. That is going to be the end of the game. A very impressive offensive performance from EVE Baskets Oldenburg. Sees them pick up the victory here. And hand Pinar Kasiaka their first loss of the Basketball Champions League season. It is 96 to 82. EVE Baskets Oldenburg take the victory over Pinar Kasiaka. Well, these two teams will now move to identical records in Group A. We have just uh, AS Monaco sitting at the top of the table with a three win and zero loss record. As Kasiaka will go to two wins and one loss, as will EVE Oldenburg. You see the statistics. Great numbers from both teams. And, uh, both offensively played extremely well indeed. But at the end of the day, the 11 threes from uh, EVE Baskets may well have been just too much. 22 assists shows you the way they shared the ball. An excellent offensive performance from them. They'll celebrate with Massanat. We'll see the final numbers, 22 to 16 on the assists. 11 steals as well from EVE Baskets. You know, played their part, but 17 turnovers from them. One of the uh, big reasons why they were not able to really get
get within touching distance. They tied the game at 44, but then that 11-2 run to end the first half for Oldenburg really just set them up for the victory here. So there are the game leaders. Byron Allen did everything for EV Baskets, led the team points, rebounds, and assists. Dominic Walters did his part. In fact, Allen had in uh, steals as well when he led his team in. He had a uh, very impressive stat line. But he had a uh, backup from Ahel Bazic, who had 15 points, four rebounds as well. And then he's so hot shooting of Swethelm, who had 13 points. And Mickey McConnell, who finished with 11 points and four assists. On the other side, Pinar Karsiaka. They had three good performances. Walters, Jones and Kennedy, but no one else really came to play. There is the confirmation. Oldenburg moved to second place. Pinar Karsiaka in third. There's Cam Mercia in fourth. But that will change. That is an incorrect caption. As they are two and zero, not one and two in fourth position and uh, Murthia with a 63 to 58 lead in the fourth quarter over Dinamo Sassari and chance to be the second team to 3-0 and alongside uh, Monaco who got that victory last night in Group A. Well we're going to leave you with some highlights from tonight's action it was a, an impressive offensive performance as I've mentioned from Oldenburg they have scored 96 points on their way to victory here it is their highest total of the season so far. And they get the, uh, the big win over Pinar Karsiaka, the previously unbeaten Turkish team, to equal their 2 and one record in Group A. And so we will say good night from Oldenburg.